Welcome back. Well, as you can tell by our eyewear, it is St. Patrick's Day. And your little leprechauns can have some fun at home today. That's right. And let's face it, a shamrock shake, you know, it's kind of a must. But if you can't find one near you, how about you make one at home? Join this morning's lifestyle parenting expert, Vina Crownholm. Good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning to both of you. It's so great to be here this morning. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Oh, you know, we get so excited about this as adults. And Todd made sure that his daughters ran out of the house and they had their green on and everything. So kids are a big part of the day too. So what can we do with them to have fun? Well, you know exactly what you said. If you can't find a shamrock shake outside, you can definitely make one at home. They're so easy and so fun. In fact, my 10 year old and I made this one the other day. So it's a very easy recipe. So four scoops, we used a vegan ice cream named Eclipse, but you can use dairy if you want. A half a cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's the secret ingredient right yeah. there. And then some mint leaves, you blend it up, put a little food coloring, a little ready whip, and some Lucky Charms charms, and voila, you have a great shamrock shake. Okay, if don't- If that sounds fun and you wanna do something else, you can also make those homemade gummies. Those are actually, one of their main ingredients is lime jello. Can you believe that? Lime jello? Well, I, I, I do enjoy the lime jello. This is not what I, th you know, a lot of people just say, well, I'll get some mint chocolate chip ice cream and put it in a blender, right? And, but no, yeah. it's that, that, that weird flavor. It's the vanilla, mm -hmm. right? When you get the shamrock shake, it's that vanilla that makes the shake. You gotta make sure you add that in. So, uh, talk it about- It is, and if you, yeah, if you want a little extra, I say go with the mint and extract. We use fresh mint leaves since we had a bush outside but the mint extract with the vanilla is that secret, secret sauce that goes for that perfect shamrock shake. And, and back to these gummies you were showing us, yeah. you said you made those at home as well? We did, and so we got these little yogurt jars on Amazon right there. Um, this is, the key ingredient here is lime jello with gelatin, applesauce, and sugar. And so you put it all into a pot and you bring it to a boil for one minute and then you pour it into parchment paper inside of a baking dish, let it set, get your cookie cutter out, and you just cut away. And it's so easy, so fun, so delicious. Look at that. I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness. That, a, that sounds super easy. I'm, I'm that type See? of person that can snack on that kind of stuff all day. So that sounds like a little bit of a slightly healthier of an option. <laughs> we're, we're not counting healthy. We're not talking healthy today. We're talking fun. Okay, it is pretty fun. fun but, and but you great. can take that same idea and, and turn it into any other holiday as long as you have the right cookie cutters for it. Absolutely, and you can also use a silicone mold, which is easier to get it out of. The key thing is once you cut it out, to roll it in the sugar so yeah. it doesn't get stuck everywhere because it is quite sticky. Uh, definitely not a healthy option, but so much fun <laughs> to do with your kids. I highly suggest it. We had a blast. It's messy, but that's what makes it fun. And not everything has to be food, though. I mean, if you're not really into the kitchen, you could always just have some other games and fun in the house, like a, maybe a scavenger hunt. Absolutely. So, you know, one of the things we love are painting river rocks. So we do this all the time. And so for St. Patrick's Day, I actually did a bunch of different rocks and each rock leads to a new a new clue and a new little gift. So you can go to the Target dollar spot. We got little gold bricks that you could dig out of. You can get bubbles. You can do all sorts of different things. I have this really cute potato light by Smoko, but we did one called Yes Day. So one of the last rocks leads to Yes Day. And so what yes day is, is as a parent, you just say yes. I mean, there are some rules, but you definitely say yes. So if your kid says, we're having ice cream for breakfast, you go, yes. And so it's just really, really liberating. It's really fun. You know, we incorporated a Nerf battle. We had donuts for lunch. I mean, the list goes on and it's just so much fun to surprise your kid with a yes day. It's just that perfect way to just bring some excitement to, you know, some We've had hard times in the past year, and so it's just a great way to bring back that fun into our lives. Well, thanks for the great ideas, yeah. Vina. Appreciate Thank that. You. I'll tell you who's lucky, her kids. That's yeah. who's, that's who's oh, lucky. Fun time. Thanks for the time, <laughs> Vina. We'll be right back.